In this video, we're going to talk about how to decompose a function into two functions. So, for instance, let's say that h of x is equal to the square root of 7x plus 5. Express the function h of x as a composition of two functions, f of x and g of x, such that h of x is f of g of x. So how can we determine f of x and g of x, given h of x? So notice that f is the function on the outside, and g is the function on the inside. The stuff on the inside is 7x plus 5. So that's going to be g of x. The stuff on the outside is the square root symbol, and that's going to be f of x. So f of x is the square root of x. So if we want to determine h of x, which is the composition of f and g. Notice that if we take g and insert it into f, that is, if we replace this x with 7x plus 5, that will give us h of x. So here's the square root symbol, but without the x. So replace the x with 7x plus 5. And that will give us the original function. But these are the answers that we're looking for. g of x is 7x plus 5, and f of x is the square root of x. So let me give you another example that you could work on. So let's say that h of x is 1 divided by x plus 3. Go ahead and determine the outside function, f of x, and also the inside function, g of x. The outside function is going to be 1 over x. The inside function is simply x plus 3, because if you replace x with x plus 3, you're going to get 1 over x plus 3. And that's pretty straightforward, so these problems are not too bad. Let's try another example. So what about this one? Let's say that h of x is the absolute value of 3x plus 2. What's the outside function, f of x, and the inside function, g of x? We can see that on the inside, we have 3x plus 2, so that's g of x. The outside is the absolute value of x, and that's it. And let's do one more example. Let's say that h of x is 2x cubed plus 7x minus 3 raised to the fourth power. So what's the outside function, f of x, and the inside function, g of x? On the outside, it's x to the fourth power. On the inside, 2x cubed plus 7x minus 3. And there you go. So that's g of x and f of x. So that's it for this video. Thanks again for watching and have a good day.